Hey, if you've ever tried to export something in Illustrator, you know sometimes larger files at higher resolutions can sometimes use up all your memory or RAM and you'll get a little display box saying, you know, uh, unable to complete this, you know, this process. And I'm going to show you a little way around that when you're exporting your uh, high resolution Illustrator files. And that's by actually splitting up the artboard. Let me go ahead and grab my artboard tool. You'll see that I have one artboard here, another artboard here, and there's one little out of the screen. There's a third one. So it's been split into three different portions here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to export as usual. Going to file, export. Um, let me bring this up. I'm a uh, dang, I can't seem to make that. If you're familiar with it, there's a use artboards option, which is unfortunately just out of the screen for you. And I'm going to go ahead and use all instead of a range, which in my case is only three. So use all. I'm going to go ahead and save. I've actually got it at a ridiculous pixels per inch of 1000 quality 10 RGB baseline none of these things really affect what I'm doing here I'm gonna press OK my process progress mm All right, now I'm going to go ahead and open those same files in Photoshop. I'll start with this one here. And uh, so there we have one, one part <clears throat> of the puzzle piece. And I'm going to use my crop tool to actually extend the, the artboard or the, the workable area here. So I know this is off screen, but I'm just going to go ahead and pull it down actually. And I'm also going to pull it off to the side so I have a little bit more space on the side. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and accept this, which has made my artboard a little bit bigger, both uh, taller and wider. And I'm going to go ahead and drag in the other pieces that were exported from Illustrator. Well, that's the same piece. There we go. Go ahead and place. Snap that up there. And I'm going to go ahead and place this in that spot like that. Now, I'm pretty sure you can see. Um, if you zoom in, it appears that this throw if it appears as if there is a seam on these files, but if you actually zoom in, you'll see that those lines kind of disappear in and out because it's actually not they're actually right up against each other. It's just a display issue that some computers have. Um so I've, I've seen this happen on multiple different computers. So that's something that maybe Adobe or Microsoft needs to work with. Now, my artboard showing three different pieces. And if I want to bring these together, I can control click each one so that they're all selected. Then control E, which will give me one solid flat layer. Then I can 
pull out my crop tool bring the artwork back down the size there there and I'm basically done so if you ever tried exporting something and the you didn't have enough RAM to export a high quality JPEG and you wanted to go ahead and print it you can use this method to go ahead and get around the limitations of your RAM you can really use as many artboards as you uh, need um, I don't know if they have a limit on how many artboards but you probably would need more than four unless you have something really large and that's it thank you for your time hope this really helped with some of your problems